All right, billboard tracking. It's not that hard actually. Uh, I think I figured out a good way to control it and uh, and to easily update it when uh, as soon as every or every time Eximetry does an update to uh, to the system. Why do you want to track the billboard? Uh, at first, maybe the billboard is. We should go into explaining what the billboard is. And uh, the billboard is, uh, you know, like a 2D plane that, uh, like a 2D plane uh, that uh, uh, the live video feed is being uh, pro project projected onto, uh, which makes it possible to uh, track that billboard. So the talent can go behind and around uh, things. Uh, which is pretty cool and uh, I'm using the new anti-latency wireless trackers but uh, you can do this with every tracking system out there uh, uh, even with the Wive you can just mount a Wive puck at uh, Wive tracker at uh, the talent and it works the same so let's just dive in have just a basic project here uh, and here you can see how my billboard looks uh, I can turn the tracking on, uh, now I don't know, yeah, I just erased everything, so we're gonna build, build it from, from the top up. So the first thing you need to do uh, is, as, as you know, you can change the scene uh, by using this one, and if you do that, you need to translate these values to the billboard tracking as well. And there's an easy way of doing that, uh, and it's to right-click on the tracked cam, add it compound in place, and the first thing you need to do is go to scene, this little fella, and you need to add an transmit transformation, which pretty much uh, is gonna drag it over there, and then you go up to the uh, into tunnel and we name it base cam transformation uh, and what this does is that it takes the data from the base cam uh, scene uh, transformation and puts it into almost like a portal kind of thing so now I can get this uh, live data and use it somewhere else which is pretty handy because uh, we're gonna use it if we go into and right click on the billboard one a go to source module uh, and here's the source module let's edit compound in place as well and go in there and basically here's the little C node that makes the the tracker go around uh, can probably change the scale and everything yes uh, and here's my a little compound that I made uh, and the compound is available to download uh, at my Patreon uh, but I'm gonna show you how I how, how I do it here uh, so basically we need to first get the tracking data of uh, the device we are tracking and I'm using the anti-latency billboard that's the name of my tracking uh, the hand uh, the, the billboard tracking Wi-Fi tracker <laughs> uh, and we need to uh, get do a transformation split on this one like so because I don't want the tracker to follow me up and down or or rotate it uh, or rotate with me because I, I want it to be flat towards the camera all the time uh, so add the, the tracking data into the transformation split and then we need to do a vector split as well vector split because we only want some of the positions we want the, the depth and the left and right not the up and down so let's do a vector merge and plug the X and the Z because I think in Eximetry Y is up but in Unreal Z is up maybe there was some kind of mix up in some software I think Unreal is the wrong one and then you need to compose the transformation data again uh, 
like so and into position and, and what are we gonna do then then after that we need to add a delay to the data because the tracking data is coming in much faster than the video data so uh, we have to delay it and this is something uh, uh, you have to uh, play with uh, and I think mine is 0.2 in some kind of milliseconds now it can't be milliseconds I don't know what what kind of numbers that are but 0.2 seems to work good for me uh, and then you want to combine this data with the uh, do, 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 do. you want to combine that data with the base cam base cam transformation so let's see if we can transmit transformation and then if we did everything right you are supposed to be able to get it here so from the tunnel base cam transformation I just apply that one in there uh, and then we can add transform add it to the add transform here and then we should have some kind of tracking data if I push the track oh yeah we haven't enabled these guys yet so this makes that you if you're in this view you still can scale the billboard and you can also offset it and move it because sometimes you need to have the billboard a bit in front of the talent so you don't cut the feet so let's just run down and see if this works be right back or yeah It didn't work, it crashed. Let's try this again. Hopefully something is saved. Oh, the crashing. Do we need to do this again? Yes, we need to do this again. That sucks. Well, maybe I keep this in the video. Transformation. Let's get the base cam transformation. Save and then we should be good to go all right once more let's see if it works My daily dose of training. This is how I train, up and down, all the fucking time. So that works. Uh, but you probably want to nift the little buttons here, so you can uh, have some uh, control over it when you want it and when you don't want it. So let's go back in to it. Uh, where were we? Yeah. So let's select all these guys and what we can do is group this selection and we can call it billboard tracking. Oh, we couldn't do that. Billboard tracking. Uh, two, like that. So uh, let's jump into that one and we want to be able to control if the tracking is on which tracking device and maybe the delay delay as well 
So what we do is uh, first we press these small guys so we get everything exposed. Drag that one to that and we can call this tracking device. And uh, we want the delay, billboard delay maybe. And we also want to be able to uh, control uh, uh, if the tracking is on or not. So let's create an if transformation. And if it's on, then we want to show it. So put that one out. And we also need a copy trigger. No. We need a copy uh, logical. Logical, that's the one. Tracking on. Plug that into that one and this one like that. And then we can go back one step. Uh, and then we want to create these small guys to be able to see it on on this one uh, and how you let, let's remove those and I can show you how to do it first we want to drag the tracking device yes the billboard delay then we want uh, uh, to tracking on or not. So let's do a and track. That should work. Yeah, we can even we can even call it track. So now we can control if we want to tracking on or not could be good reasons for that but usually when I'm not not supposed to track I just use another billboard which I have locked the camera uh, but it works pretty good and if I push this little whole compound thingy I can down here choose the tracking device and also the billboard delay pretty nifty pretty nifty and uh, that, that's how you do it. And if you're lazy, go to my Patreon. I will share uh, the finished compound. Uh, you can just download it and uh, put it here and just plug everything in. And uh, that's about all. So take care and see you soon.